Introduction to Power Systems. Now we will see classification of power systems. So first we will come as a generation. Generation. Then it will go for transmission. Then it will go for distribution. These are three phases of the power systems. So the generator's generation symbol is generator, generator, generator symbol is like this. And maximum up to 33 kV it will go. So generator is a rotating machine which has a field part and armature part. So this is AC generator. Mostly you are using the AC generator, alternators, the turbo alternators, transformer. Transformer is a static device which is used to step up and step down the voltage. So generator will generate the voltage around 33 kV. Transmission, transformer is used, transformer used for step of the voltage and the symbol of transformer in power systems like this. So now sequence will be like this, the generation, then the bus bar grid is connected to the transformer and then it will go to the distribution. So this is the symbol of distribution and then for the consumers. So important thing is that the transmission must be high voltage. For high voltage transmission we are using the transformers. So now we will see one problem if we are not using transformer what will happen. So there is a uh, one bus Yes, 20 kV is a generation. The wire line length of line transmission line is 10 km and the distance will be 0.2 ohm per kilometer. This is the resistance of the transmission line and the load is load is around load power is around 100 megawatt. And uh, suppose that a unity power factor, so cos theta is equal to 1. Now we will see what is the current draw in a transmission line. So current value we can find out by I is equal to P upon root 3 V cos theta. Now we will put here P value is 100 megawatt divided by root 3. And uh, generation voltage is 20 kV. 10 to 3. So if we calculate, we will find out the current value will be 2886.75 ampere. This is too much. And also we can find out the power loss in transmission line that is equal to power loss. We can find out power loss we can find out uh, will be power loss will be 3 i square r so if we calculate p is equal p is equal to 3 into this much current into resistance is given is here 20 because the the transmission here the line length is uh, 100 kilometers sorry 100 kilometers so 100 into 0.2 we will find out the total resistance will be 20 so total resistance will be how much r is equal to 100 into 0.2 so that is equal to 20 
so that if you use here 3 into 20 into 2886.75 square so if we calculate we will find out that the power loss will be more the power loss will be equal to around 500 megawatt so that is very important here that as we from the above equation uh, problem solve we can because without, without using transformer we can see here what happened the high power loss and high voltage drop and voltage drop is also very high so if we find out voltage drop will be equal to 3 into i into r so if we find out these calculations the loss will be more around 500 megawatt so that's why power loss is greater than the generated power that's why we required the high voltage transmission if high voltage transmission losses will be less so that's why we always required the high transmission voltage if we low voltage use then loss will be always there so that's why we are using the high transmission voltage always using for any power systems thank you very much